Hello and welcome to Query Variables. My name is Jeff. I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. Let's say we're using Power Query and we have some values that we use inside of some queries somewhere. Maybe they're in formulas, maybe they're in filters. Um, but, but we set this up as a recurring use workbook. That's a workbook we maintain every day, week, month, quarter, year. And sometimes these values change. And when they change, we certainly don't want to have to open up Power Query and hunt for the values where they've been hand keyed. And so what we'll do instead is store these values in, in a table, a variables table. And the structure is easy. We just have a name for each variable, a value, and some notes. So the first step is just to load this variables table into Power Query. How do we do that? We just select any cell within the table and data from table range. And this is going to uh, load the table into Power Query, and there are really no transformations that need to happen on this. So we're just going to go ahead and hit close and load to. And we're going to create a connection only query and click OK. All right, at this point, now we have our, our base query, uh, which pulls in all of the rows for our variables table. Now we need to create one new query for each variable. All right. The way that we're going to do that is right click the variables query and hit reference. And all this does is it really sets up a brand new query that uses as its source the original variables query. All right. So now we're going to apply a filter to grab our first variable, EE. We're going to give this a new name, EE. And then we want the, the query to return the value 0 0.06. So to do that, we just right click and select drill down. Okay. So now what we have is a new query that uses as its source the original variables. It applies a filter, it drills down, and it's called EE. All right, so let's go ahead and close and load two. Create a connection only and click OK. Now we've got this value, EE, that we can reference within Power Query. Let's test it out, see if it worked. I'm going to go ahead and pull in a new CSV file called HMO Premiums. And I'm going to um, edit this by clicking the edit button here. So now what we're going to do is create a new column, custom column. And we're going to give this custom column a name. I'm going to call it EE share. Now in this formula, we can reference the EE variable query. So let's just see if it worked. I'm going to go ahead and just click OK. Let's go ahead and approve this data privacy. And that's fine. And if it worked, we should get a column with 0.6. And let's wait for it. Yes, it worked. Okay. Uh, and maybe we want to multiply this times the premium. So let's go ahead and click our gear icon to make a change. We'll hit multiplied by premium. Click OK. And yes, that worked. Okay. So that's how to use this variable inside of a formula. Let's go ahead and close and load two. And we'll send these results back to a table in a new worksheet and click OK. All right. But the second place that we're going to use um, a variable is in a filter. Right? right now, we have all the January and February and March transactions coming in. Um, but we want to filter this within the query so that the only thing that hits our Excel workbook or the data model or wherever we're using these results um, is, is the dates uh, within our from and to dates. So we're going to need to create two more queries. I'm going to right click variables, hit reference, and I'm going to give this query a name called from date. And once again, we're going to apply a filter from. Um, I need to change this data type to a date. I'm going to right click, drill down. And now we've got January 1st. I'm going to make this a connection only query and hit OK. And let's do another one for the to date. Right click variables, reference, change the name to to date, apply a filter for to, change the data type to date, right click, drill down, and let's save this off as a connection only query. All right, now let's edit our HMO premiums query. And let's apply a filter on the date column. 
So I'm going to use this drop down, select date filters, and I'm going to choose custom. And we're going to want to include those rows where the date value is after or equal to, and temporarily we're just going to pick a date, and is before or equal to, and again we're just going to pick a date. Then we're going to click OK. And now we need to edit this M code so that instead of using this hard coded date value here, we're going to use our variable. Um, and to, to make sure you see this formula bar, you want to make sure you click on uh, View uh, and toggle on this formula bar checkbox. All right, so we're going to replace this M code with the from date case sensitive and the to date. So, so Power Query is case sensitive, so this has to be, use the same case that you use to name um, the queries. And go ahead and hit enter. That looks like it worked. Let's go ahead and send the results back to Excel. And if it worked, this should be filtered for January. Perfect. Save, close, move on, life, life, good. Hey, next period. Hey, maybe it's 50%. Maybe we're doing 2-1 uh, to 2-28-20. Uh, all we need to do is right click and refresh and that's what's applied okay so that's a way to set up a variables table inside excel uh, hope hopefully it helps thanks have a great day this video is a production of excel university